Alva Sequencer, the free version of Alva Sourcer, provides ETC EOS theatrical lighting consoles with sequence-based editing by allowing Blender's video editor to remotely manage and create console event lists and macros through automation. Okay, so this is how Sequencer works. So you set it up by connecting it to OSC. You can do this with the console as well, obviously, but I just have Nomad running. Um, but you need to go to Setup, System Settings, go to Show Control, OSC, OSC RX, Receive, Enable. Take note of your port right there, then go to About, and get your IP address. Then go over into Sequencer, you will install Sequencer with this, add-ons, install, then click to enable. If you're using Sequencer, you it would say Sequencer. If it's Sourcer, you would check the box there. But I'm using Sequencer today. So you go into the video editor up here on one of these. Then you go into here, you have the collapsible toolbar right here that can collapse, come out. Then you have the side panel on the end key. That has some of your other settings. Some of the settings that, not all the settings are on this pop-up menu, but most of them are. One of the ones that's not is the orbs, is the snapshot after orb. Uh, we'll, we'll look into that later. But you bring in stuff with Shift A. You can bring in the sorcerer stuff, or you can bring in sound, movie, image, whatever. And when you go into this pop-up, if it only shows you the type that you selected, like if you selected audio like I just did, but you changed your mind, you want to do video, you just turn that off, that filter. Um, but I've already brought that in. So once we have the music in, if we want to use the time code, we have to hit M for a strip media and set the event list to something other than one, other than zero, it will default to one. If it's at zero, if you don't have anything above the scrub bar, you will have to you won't be able to use the time code really. So you do need to have one active, even if it's not outputting audio. But that sets up your event list so that when you do hit play, put this in live, so that when you hit play over here, it, uh, it sort of syncs. This is, this is all through OSC triggers. This is not outputting time code. It's just outputting a single trigger when I hit play, a single hit, a single trigger when I hit when I hit stop. So if I want to add something to the sequencer here, we just say shift add and add like a macro cue flash animation trigger, whatever. You also have those buttons up here. And you can also just hit O even during playback. So you can do it that way. To select a channel on here. So like this one is uh, not that. Hold on. You want that one. So to select channel two through four, I just hit D to deselect all, then hit two, three, four, and then X to get rid of those. To go up to ten, you just hit zero. To go to eleven, it's shift one. Up to nineteen, it doesn't do twenty and above. Get rid of this for now. So let's hit O again. We're going to hit M for strip media. F is the formatter. And I already know the shortcuts. We will hit M again and hit F for flash. We're going to flash up group one to full. So just G1, G1 again. And we're going to use macros one and two to do that. We're going to hit the OR button. This is all automation. I'm not doing anything. Okay, that's done. Now we need to hit Shift Spacebar in order to store that. It's stored. And when the orb is done, it's using, it's, it just goes to this snapshot here. So if I were to switch that to snapshot two and go shift spacebar, it'll end with snapshot two. And it just did. So I can hit that back to one so that we have our augment 3D snapshot at the end. 
like so. And then over here, I will actually go back to Snapshot 2 to show you what it actually did. So this is the event list that we selected here. It created that event list. And at seven seconds, it has the up flash for macro one, which is indicated right here. So macro one, and then macro two. So as a result, when we play, so let's actually make that group 13. So G13, G13, pre-record. Group 13 is a better candidate here. All right. If we want to make it uh, longer, we can just do this. If we want to make it uh, start, come in slower or come in faster and go out slower, we can adjust the bias there. And in order to do that, we will need to re-record the macros because that has the timing information. And then we will need to sh hit shift spacebar again. And we have that. Okay. Uh, to make multiple, we just do Shift D, Shift Spacebar. So that's pretty easy. Um, if you want to make multiple even more, you can just select those and hit E for extrude. Just make a bunch of them. I can zoom out here. There we go. Now, when we when we do the extrude, it doesn't copy over the settings. I need to fix that. But right now, to copy over the settings, you just hit the that button there. Shift spacebar to re-render the strips. So like you can scrub and you'll see, like look up here, I'm gonna hit play and then I'm gonna scrub and you'll see the, the time change. All right, so that's flash strips and you can also input other stuff, not just intensity. So you can do group 45 color palette four, or you can say group six color palette seven. So like you can just type in pretty much whatever you want and it'll try to figure out what you're trying to say. And that also works down here. So, but then again, if you just say one and interprets that as channel one at full, you say group six, group six at full, let's say, or six through seven, at preset five, channel six through seven at preset five. And if you say group six through, or group six through seven, or group six through eight at a uh, beam palette, beam palette nine. Beam palette. Yeah, well, that didn't work. There we go. So it doesn't always work perfectly. It's not AI, but it's pretty good. Now, this actually isn't going to work because EOS will not interpret that as group six through eight. It will interpret it as group six plus channel eight. So we do need to make some corrections here and there but it's pretty decent for the most part. So that's flash strips, pretty simple.